What is going on everybody and welcome to part 12 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part we are going to stray away from the custom menu for just one part and talk about saving player data whenever a player leaves or the server shuts down. So when a player rejoins the server they won't lose all their progress and their money. So it'll basically show back up, it'll save and they will be able to continue where they left off, basically. So let's go ahead and get started here. One thing I want to fix is I neglected to add the CS Lua file for the custom menu here. Let's do that now. In our init.lua file, by the way, we want to do add CS Lua file custom underscore menu dot Lua. So now we won't be getting any errors whenever we launch this server in a... Uh, non-single player, so in a multiplayer one, basically. Next up, we want to be working in our player initial spawn function here. I'm just going to get rid of everything that is currently in here and just start anew. What I want to do here is, I guess I'm going to tell you what we're going to be using to do this. We're going to be using two things. We want to do apply colon get p data, and this takes in one argument, which is just the name of the data object we want to get, so name. Then the next one, apply colon set p data. And this is going to take in the name of the object, or the data object, followed by a comma, and the second argument being the value. So now that we got that down and out of the way, let's get rid of that and actually start using this. So I'm going to create an if statement here. So we want to check if the poy, which is just the player entity that is passed in, get p data and we want to get the player level p data and we want to check if this is equal equal to nil if it is then and put an end there if the p data is nil or if there is no value set for player level we want to set the poy colon set the nw int oops my bet for player level to 1. That's just the default starting value. Otherwise, if the get p data is anything but nil, so if there is a value set for it, we want to set the poy colon set nw int for the player level to poy colon get p data player level. So now what is whatever is stored in the player data called player level is what this networked integer player level will be set to. So if the get p data for player level is set to 2, the network integer will also be set to 2. And now we can do here, we just copy and paste this three times. And now instead of player level for this one, we want it to be player exp. And this will check if there is no value set for player xp. We want to set the exp to 0. And then otherwise here, we want to set it to whatever is currently stored in that uh, player data object. Next up, the player money. If there's nothing stored in that, we want to set it equal to whatever this value is here. I'm just going to set it to zero. You can set that to whatever you want, whatever you want the default starting value for the player to be. And otherwise, we want to set that player money network integer to whatever the player money p data value is. So there's our player initial spawn. This will set all of the values to either the defaults or if there's something stored in the p data to whatever is currently stored in there so they won't lose progress. Next up, we want to create a function here. This will be the function gm colon player disconnected. And this takes in one argument, just a player entity. So I'll call it PLY. And let's end this. And let me scroll down there. Okay. And what we'll do in here is whenever the player disconnects, we want to set all of their p data values. So poy colon set p data. The name of the p data, which in this case for this one is going to be player level. We want to set this to poy colon get networked int player level. And we're just going to copy this one here and paste it two more times. We want this next one to be player exp. And then we want this one to be player money. 
So we got one that's going to set the player level, the player EXP, and player money P data values to whatever is currently stored in the networked integer whenever they disconnect. Next up, if the server were to shut down for whatever reason, instead of making the player lose all of their progress, because when a server shuts down, they don't get disconnected as far as I know, so we got to check for that shutdown and set the P data accordingly. So function gm colon shut down. This one takes in no arguments. We want to end this. And we're going to be using a for loop here. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail with the for loop. So for k, which is just the key, comma v for value in pairs, the player dot get all. This will return every single player that is connected to the server. And then whatever that value is, it'll return one at a time and set that equal to V, or set V equal to one of these players. And it'll continue looping through this. Let me finish this real quick. We want to put a do and then an end. It will continue looping until there are no more players present. So it'll go from the first player to the last player. When it's done with the last player, it'll move on and continue executing code down here. So now in here, I just want to copy this and paste it and tab over. But since there is no PLY entity or no player entity, we want to use this V value. This value, like I said, stores one player every time this loops. So copy that V and everywhere you see PLY, change that to a V. Save that. And everything should be working now. We should be able to continue gaining progress like we did before. But instead of losing it when we disconnect or restart the server, we'll have the same values as when we left. So let's test that now. Right now I have level 1, EXP 0 out of 200, and money 0. Let's spawn into some crows. And with level 2, we have 2 XP out of 400 and $200. We reload the server wait a little bit, and when we get back in, everything should be set to what it was previously. Level 2, EXP 2 out of 400, and also that $200. So everything there worked perfectly fine. And that's basically the, or how to save player data. And one thing that I'd like to note here is whenever we use get or set P data, uh, depending on whether we're server-side or client-side, in this case, since we are in a server-side file, which is the init.lua file, it's going to grab it from a server-side file or a server-side database file. And this file is automatically created for you, so you don't have to set it up yourself. And same thing goes for client-side. Whenever you use get pdata or set pdata in there, it'll get and set the values in a client-side file. Anyways, that is saving player data. If you're having issues with it or you don't understand it, please say something in the comments below, and I will try my best to make it a lot easier to understand if need be. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.